Good morning and welcome to the Battle of the Name. We're continuing our study of the uh, John, John chapter 14. Today we're going to be looking at verses 18, 19, and 20. Let's go ahead and read those, then we'll go back and break those down a little bit for you, okay? Beginning with verse 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Okay, Jesus again is talking to his disciples. He's trying to get them to understand what's going on, to understand the life. He says in verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. So, we just got the talk about the Holy Spirit, and then he says he's not going to leave you comfortless, and then I will come to you. Who's I? I being the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Remember, they are one. At this point in time, he's speaking in part of the Holy Spirit, right? Because he said, I will come to you. I being the Holy Spirit at that point in time. I am the I am that I am, according to Mo, according to what, Mo, what he told Moses. So we see here that he says, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. He said, just in a little while, I'm going to be dead. Time is ending. The world is getting to be, I'm going to have to suffer the, 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 the fulfill the, my destiny. I told you all along that I was coming to live in this life, to die for your sins on the cross. I've told you that over and over and over again. He, 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 there's not much he can do. He said, if the son be lifted up, he draw men's all to himself. And the lifting up was crucifixion. So he said, basically, if I'm crucified, I'll draw all men to me. He clearly identified over and over again he was going to die and how he was going to die. So he says here in that verse, yet yeah, a little while, and the world see me no more. In a little while, when Jesus died on this earth, the world will not see him again. They won't ever see Jesus again. They might see you say, well, isn't Jesus coming back to earth? Is he going to reign the world? He will, but he will be in his glorified body. We don't know what that looks like. We know that whenever Jesus was walking on the Sea of Galilee, walking, I mean, walking on the shoreline, and the disciples saw him, they know he was. We know that when he's walking with on the road to Damascus, a road to 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 uh, yes, Damascus with uh, uh, Peter and others on the day of the crucifixion, on the day of the resurrection. I mean, there was nobody. People didn't. The, the person with him didn't even know who he was until he turned to him and then he came. They saw him. Uh, Mary Magdalene in the garden saw Jesus, and she said, uh, uh, "You know, tell me who this is. Show me, show me where you've taken my master." And until he said Mary, she didn't recognize him. So the point is, the resurrected Christ probably looks different than the the earthly Christ because now he's God again. He was always God, but he set his attributes aside. He looked like Mary. Now he looks more like himself. So I don't think that you're going to see the same. Jesus, you saw in the picture, if you could take a snapshot of him, it would not have been the same. People say that the nails in his hands will be in heaven. I don't know if that's true or not. I can't tell you that. I know that Jesus was changed, and, and, and therefore his life is different. But he says here that, um, uh, we go on, and it says, uh, Lord, But ye shall see me, because I live, ye shall live also. So just because the world can't see you doesn't mean I won't be able to see you. We won't be able to see him. We'll see him, because we see him now. We see him living within us. Because he goes on and explains that. He says, At that day you shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. See, we know he said that he is in the Father, and we are in him because we're in Jesus. We're in his family. We're in his, we're in his faith. We're part of him because his blood was shed for us. So we are with him and he's with us. That's how we make it to heaven. We make it to heaven on the mighty name of Jesus, on the attributes of Jesus, not on the attributes of David Barber or someone else. We make it on the attributes of, of the Holy Spirit that Jesus died for us. We, we are resurrected in the name of Jesus. We are honored in the name of Jesus. We're in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's where we are. That's all we have time for today. Let's close with a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you so much for this opportunity we had that we can look in your word. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to be able to apply it to our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your son who loves us enough to be in us that we can be in him and the Father's in him. Thank you so much for all you do. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you again for your time and your attention today.